Alex Mihai wants to know, what's the best remote for beginners? Jumper, T-Pro, or Radio Master Zorro? Um, okay, uh, the T-Pro has one watt Express LRS output. The Zorro only goes up to 250 milliwatts. Some people would consider that to be a deal break, the, the, the deal breaker, but to my mind, the T Pro has some issues that would. Oh, dang it. What's going on? Cool. Oh, oh man, that hasn't happened in a long time. <sighs> That hasn't happened in a while. We back? I think we're back. Wow, that hasn't happened in weeks. Like two weeks. I haven't had any problems with my internet. Literally. Let's see if we can continue the stream. That better not happen during my Ray Shadow Legends stream. The, the, the sponsor won't be happy about that. <laughs> to my mind, the Zorro has is better than the T Pro. Um, the control layout is better. I like the ergonomics better. The Zorro has the option to put AGO one gimbals in, which are nice upgraded metal gimbals. Um, the big disadvantage of the Zorro is that it has smaller batteries, so you have to charge it more often. Uh, you get about an hour and a half at if you have the Express LRS module turned up to full power. Um, uh, between the, I don't think either of them is perfect, but between the two, I like the Zorro over the, uh, over the jumper, but you can watch the review of both of them and see what you think. To my mind, I think the Zorro has a little bit of an edge. I wish the Zorro was one watt output power, but it isn't. Um, and I wish the Zorro had, uh, had bigger batteries, but it doesn't. <laughs> 